Hey, it's me Devin and today I have the level challenge number two video. Now in my last video I explained what the level challenge was and I'm going to leave a link to the Goodreads group where I found it. I'm going to be doing mini reviews for the two books that I did read. Now to remind you what that challenge was for the level one, it was to read any two books of your choice. The two books I chose were Partials by Dan Wells and The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Now both these books ended up giving a 5 out of 5 rating. They were both really good in their own ways. The first book I finished, and it's going to be the first book I talk about, is The Naturals. Now this is a YA version of Criminal Minds. As for the plot, the plot was kind of slow in the beginning, as I said. As it progressed and as she started learning things and as the action started happening, that's when the plot kind of picked up. For character-wise, Cassie was a good main character. She wasn't the best, you know. She was starting to come into her own, learning her abilities. The second character, Michael, I liked him for how outspoken he was and how honest, well, kind of honest. He was a little too flirtatious to me, you know, after meeting Cassie for maybe like a week. But he was kind of like that character where it's like he needed to be there. The other character, Dean, though, he is my favorite in this book. He's one of those mysterious guys, you know, in the book, spoilers, in the book you find out his dad was a serial killer and you kind of understand how he is and why he doesn't want to get close to anybody, especially Cassie. I like their relationship because it wasn't even like a relationship, like a love relationship. It was more the fact that she just wanted to know more about him. Now, when it comes to those three, I didn't like the love triangle that occurred. You know, didn't, you know, it wasn't necessary to the plot, but I think she just threw it in there to add a little romance because there wasn't any at all. When it came to that ending, you definitely can tell that there's a second book, which if you didn't know, it's going to be called Killer Instinct. The ending was good. I did not expect the person that was the bad guy in the end. It definitely, definitely is a good twist. I gave it a 5 out of 5 because the writing was good. You know, even though the characters weren't great, it kept me reading. I read it in like two sittings. The last book I read for that challenge was Partials by Dan Wells. This is a sci-fi post-apocalyptic. Now this story blew me out of the water. The plot was amazing. The char Kira, the main character, she's my favorite female character so far this year, I think. You know, she was strong. She was passionate. You know, she put the world's needs in front of her own personal needs. You know, she was in love with her boyfriend Marcus and they always talked about having a future together but then when, you know, she wants to save humanity, she's just like, no, sorry, I've got to do this first. This is more important. You know, I hope you understand but this is who I am. This is what I got to do. And Marcus doesn't agree with it in the beginning but he slowly comes, you know, around. I did like him because of how endearing he was to her, how much he loved her, how much he cared about her. I do think we need to learn more about his character though. I love the idea of these partials. Even though some of the scientific stuff you might not understand or there's just a lot of it, but if you just read through, Dan makes it easy to understand and to get the main point across. Now I think of all plot twists there could have been, the plot twist that happened was the least expected. Like it comes out of nowhere and you're like what just happened like I wasn't expecting that there's so many questions and you know it keeps bringing you around and you keep thinking one thing and then you think another so if you're into sci-fi post-apocalyptic books I definitely would definitely recommend picking up this one this one is a definite read and I cannot wait to start the second part of the series now on to the second challenge for level two pick four books that were recommended to you. Now this could be a friend telling you to read it. This could be a website like Goodreads saying, you read this book, you should read this book. The first book that I picked for this is I Am Number Four by Pinnacle Slore. This is a sci-fi alien type of book. It was made into a movie. I've heard so many good things about it and I cannot wait to get into it. Now the second book I picked is Firelight by Sophie Jordan. This is a dragon paranormal book. The main character, Jacinda, is a dragon shapeshifter. She can go from human to dragon and something happens and she's got to flee her home. So that's all I really know. I don't want to know too much about it. This next book 
I heard about from Catacastic, so I decided to pick it up, and that is Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. Now, this book is about angels, and I think that's all I really know. Like, she has a vision with her kind of angels. The vision she has is basically your purpose in life. So, she has a vision including a boy in a fire, and she's got to figure out what that is. I like stories that start off with the main character understanding who she is, what kind of paranormal she is. You know, she doesn't spend half the book trying to figure out who she is. So, I'm looking forward to finishing this and starting the rest of the series. Now the last book I picked for this level was a book I heard about from the Epic Read ladies at Harper Teen, and that is The Girl of Fire and Thorns. So those were all the books that I have picked for this second level. If you've read any of these books I've mentioned, leave a post in the comments telling me if you liked it or disliked it. So look out for my next video where I do mini reviews on the books I just showed you and then pick the next books for my next challenge. And happy reading! Bye!